What's up guys, it's Fro, here with another video, what was leveling Resto Druid like? I played Resto Druid in Classic, so I had a lot of experience with this particular class. This was the only healing class I played in Classic, and it was widely considered the weakest of the healing classes. I managed to do okay with my Resto Druid in Classic, and that is what primarily brought me to the decision of leveling up all the healing classes. My druid is Nax geared, so leveling was a breeze. I actually leveled up my paladin before my druid so that my paladin could find groups a little easier and get upgrades quicker. You can find my paladin videos in the description below. Leveling up alts is both easier and harder than leveling up your first character. I mention this tip a lot because it's so meaningful in the scheme of leveling. It takes one week for your character's rested XP to cap at 1.5 levels. If you can manage to knock out your rested XP every week, you will literally level twice as fast. That's what makes leveling an alt easier. What makes leveling an alt harder is finding groups. As the weeks go by, there are fewer groups spamming dungeons, and sometimes even finding a group, any group, can take some time. This downtime of course can be alleviated with questing or mob grinding, but as a healer these options are a lot less attractive. To help make your dungeon groups consistently, friend players along your journey, especially tanks. So what was Resto Druid like? Well, the most obvious change from vanilla to TPC is Tree of Life. Tree of Life provides an incredible healing bonus to party members and allows the druid to gear towards spirit. And one more thing we will all notice, reduced movement speed. Moving and healing is an interesting dichotomy in WoW, and druids have access to many instant heals and heals over time, allowing the druid to move without sacrificing much healing per second. This is their great strength, being able to move and heal, and being able to heal multiple targets with HOTS. With a stronger emphasis on spirit and access to innervate, druids have great mana sustain. There are a couple of large weaknesses in the Resto Druid toolkit. I mentioned the benefits of HOTS earlier, but these heals pale in comparison to direct heals when it comes to large chunk damage. Healing Touch, the new heal of Druids, is incompatible with Tree of Life and is not particularly quick compared to other classes' toolkits. Rusted Druids can play around this by focusing primarily on regrowth for chunk damage and using Nature Swiftness and Healing Touch as an emergency combo. Other large weaknesses include a lack of magic to spell and no traditional res. Battle res is a 20 minute cooldown now in TBC, better than vanilla, but still quite annoying as a solo healer in dungeons. However, there is a bright side to this problem. Several healer classes have access to viable DPS specs, meaning more often than not, there is a party member who can resurrect should you need it. Outside of healing, a nice perk druids have while leveling up is flight form obtainable at level 68. Flight is required for the Karazhan attunement and druids are the only class in the game able to attune for Karazhan below 70. This proves incredibly handy as you are able to get into Architress earlier and attune yourself that much faster. Druids are a great healing class that specialize in healing over time and mobile healing. They're incredibly versatile in PvP and a welcome addition to any PvE roster. Druids complement single target healers the best, such as priests or paladins, but as always, a diverse portfolio of healers creates strength. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give me a like and sub. Have a great day.